What organic method do you use for you to control aphids in your backyard garden? Please comment below. Agros Wade and welcome everyone to Agros Wade Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Junus Wade. In today's video feature, we're going to be harvesting that bok chow that we planted a couple of months ago. I must admit, it's not as dense or as thick as I thought it would have been compared to those I saw in the market. But then again, this is an organic bok chow, no chemical at all, no artificial fertilizer, just pure chicken manure. And that was it. And I will try it again because I need to show you how to harvest it in such a way that you do not need to uproot it, but you can actually cut it. But in this video today, I will not be um, cutting it, I'll just be uprooting it because in this area, I need to plant some other things there, so I need to uproot the entire plant. But in another area, I will grow some more bok chow and I will allow you to see how you can harvest it without uprooting it and I will send new leaves. But that's enough talking for now, let's get to the harvest. So I'm just going to uproot everything right now because usually there's a technique to harvest it and you're leaving it in the soil and to send more um, leaves. You just take out the leaves individually. Normally they're supposed to be very crossed up like that. So these leaves here, you could use everything but I'll specifically choose some. Just cut this off. You see, you know how easy it's breaking. It's very, very sensitive. Very, very sensitive. So I'll just take some of that. They didn't go as um, thick as they normally would. And um, look like they have aphids also. Yeah, they've got aphids. I don't think that's yet, but that's effectively fifty. Oh gosh, that is why maybe they are also not growing up as they're supposed to. But I'll clean it off. I didn't get much. See this one, look at that. This is one of the plants that just died. This is another one, I don't know if it's aphid. Look at that, see? It didn't make it, it has aphids also. I don't know if that's aphids. But for sure, the leaves they are turning easy because of this area here. They, this they didn't make it. So I've got, I got two plants so far. This one, yikes! This is definitely infected with aphids. Jeez! How did I not notice that? Maybe I'll do all grown up and white fly too. Look like it have white fly. So this one have white fly and aphids. Let me see this one. This one looks like one of the best ones, yeah? It do not look... Oh gosh, check this out. See? It's a, it's a decay in the middle. Look at that. Check this out. Just started to rot in the middle. So I need to do um, um, some research on, on that. All this will go to compost it. See, it decays so easy to help it. I will also plant some more cabbages here. After I put some chicken manure. Yeah, this one looks okay. They have no aphids. But it's so this is my harvest. A pork chow. I will have to make a nice meal out of this. First I'm growing pork chow. And it's incredible. I'm contented. I learn every day and you learn every day. I'd like to give a special thank you to all those of you who have subscribed to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Those of you who have liked our Facebook page, I want to thank you very much also and continue to follow us on Instagram. For the time being, I'm having some difficulty with my technology. This time, last time it was on the computer with the program, editing software, but this time it's with the phone for Instagram. But there are a lot of pictures that are very beautiful, so you can go ahead and like them and you can also share them. Thank you very much and Agus Wade is out.